Hello, this is Doug Strata for Former Apps. Today I would like to discuss how to use conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is the ability to apply special formatting effects to data that's displayed in the LN session. You can find different types of formatting effects. You know, for example, you can color a particular field or an entire row. Uh, and there's also a warning symbol that you can put on particular rows. You know, and they can be very simplistic or they can be very complicated. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to do some personalizations in purchase orders. So let's open purchase orders. You'll notice how I have two different records highlighted here already. The one in yellow is because the record has been modified and needs to be reapproved. And the green is because this, the record status is created, so therefore it's a new record that needs to be processed. Okay, now, how do I know, you know, I can see the coloring here, and if I go up to our formatting and I click the icon, I can see conditional formatting, and you'll notice it says that there are two personalizations that are public, and we'll talk about that later on, but what I want to do now is I want to go to edit conditions. Now, here's, here's the list, and you'll notice that these conditions are system system level creations. And well, like I said, we will discuss that in a little bit, but what I wanna do is I wanna add a new conditional format. <clears throat> and you'll notice that I, it, you can say all, all session types or the, there are unique session types that you can do. I like doing it for all. You can tell it is in certain companies or, or all companies. I like it, all companies. Notice that the creation level is user and that that can't be overridden here. So now let's do a description. And our description is purchase orders. Over. $5,000. <clears> okay. You have to make sure it's enabled for it to actually be in effect. If you disable it, then it won't be in effect. And again, you won't see it. Let's pick our fields. And remember the field that we're gonna talk about is order amount. So I'm gonna say order amount. And I'm gonna say that I want it to be greater than, and here I have to put a numerical value. So I'm just gonna say 5,000, <clears throat> okay? Now, you'll notice that I can have multiple conditions, but remember that when you're doing conditions, it's an and condition. So this, you know, like in my case, this field and this one and the other one if I wanted to do it. So there are, these are and conditions. So you have to make sure to think through your conditions if you're doing the complicated multiple condition uh, formatting. Over here, you can tell it that you want to color the row if you want to put a warning icon in, or if you want to color a field, and I'm going to say color a field, and I'm going to come down, and I'm going to do order amount. And I know these fields aren't showing up, but you'll see in a moment that they, they will be there. And I'm going to use a blue, and I'm going to click Save. And I'll, I'll do Save and Exit. Now, let me just reopen that so that you can verify that all the fields are there that I was looking for. So see, now here's my order amount and the color field. So if I click save and exit, save and exit, and I'm going to close it one more time, save and exit, and then I'm going to reopen. And when I reopen, you'll notice now that in blue are these records where the amount is over $5,000. And when I put my cursor there, it actually tells me that the conditional formatting is purchase orders over 5,000. Same thing here, you know, it's colored. And remember, these two were the public ones down here. So that's how the conditional formatting will work, you know, when you, when you take a look at it. So, again, you can do a lot of different things. If I wanted to go back in and added the, add the warning flag to it, all I would have to do is click Personalizations, Conditional Formatting. And remember, on Conditional Formatting, now you see I have the three, and I'm going to say Edit Conditions. And you notice I only see two, but again, if I click to the top, then I see the other. I can open it, and if I click the warning icon here, and do save and exit, save and exit, and remember I have to do save and exit and reopen. It's the easiest way, there are other ways. 
Now notice there's actually a warning symbol beside of those PO lines so that you could check them out. So again, there are multiple things you can do. You can do, like I said, up to three and conditions for the, for the conditional form heading. <clears throat> so that's, con that's how you write the conditional form heading. Now let's talk about how to make them public. In the tool, if you open up your menu and you go to Applications, Tools, Application Personalizations, you'll see conditional formatting here. I've already got that in my recently used, so I'm gonna open it from there. And now you'll see the conditional formatting and you'll see the one that we just did. So if I wanted to make this global, what I would do is I would select the record, I would click the duplicate to duplicate it. And when I do that, it notice it will open a new one. Now what I can do is I can change the user to system. And when I do that and I press tab, notice that it blanks out the user ID. So now this is a system-wide personalization. So I do, and I can, again, I could actually change it here. I could turn off the warning icon. I can do save and exit. And now what I always try to do is go back and remove the personalization that I'm changing. So I'm gonna delete this one. <clears throat> Make sure you uncheck this one down here, otherwise you notice it said it was gonna delete two records. I only want it to delete one. And I do, I hit my delete icon and say yes. And it, again, it pops up another message, so I click okay. Now what I can do is save and exit, and I'm gonna reopen purchase order. And you'll notice that when I reopen purchase order, my personalization, remember I took off the uh, warning icon, so now my personalization is just the, the field. And if I go here and I go to conditional formatting, you'll notice it says that there are three and all three are now public. So therefore I have pushed it out to everyone on the system. Okay, this concludes this presentation on conditional formatting. Again, I'll close my session. So I hope you've enjoyed it and you found it informative and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Have a good day.